don't really understand it. I think it's an incredible technological advance in terms of showing what we can do, but I don't know whether we know what, what happens. And I, I was listening, uh, uh, who was it the other day that was, uh, who knows a lot about technology. He just says, that, you know, it scares him. Well, if it scares him, it scares me in terms of the possibilities of, I mean, we, we've done amazing things like we figured out how to create an atom bomb back in 1945. I didn't know what an atom was or anything, but that, Einstein told me it was going to change the world, and it changed the world. So I, I don't want to change the world too many times without knowing, having some idea of the consequences of it. And this, hap I think this is extraordinary, but I don't know whether it's beneficial. There is a growing concern that there will be an AI arms race. As countries and companies compete to develop the most advanced AI technologies, this could lead to the development of increasingly sophisticated and dangerous weapons, as well as the use of AI for surveillance and other forms of control. There are several factors that could contribute to an AI arms race. One is the rapid pace of AI development. AI is becoming increasingly powerful and sophisticated, and this is driving competition between countries and companies to develop the most advanced AI systems. Another factor is the increasing availability of AI technology. AI is becoming more accessible, and this is making it easier for countries and companies to develop and deploy AI-powered weapons. The potential risks of an AI arms race are significant. AI-powered weapons could be used to kill or injure people, and they could also be used to disrupt critical infrastructure or cause economic damage. AI could also be used for surveillance and other forms of control which could have a chilling effect on freedom of speech and other human rights. Before I dive much deeper into the AI arms race, let's take an historical look at the nuclear arms race. The nuclear arms race was a period of competition between the United States and the Soviet Union to develop and deploy nuclear weapons. The race began in the late 1940s, after the United States developed the first atomic bomb, and continued until the early 1990s, after the collapse of the Soviet Union. The nuclear arms race was driven by several factors, including the fear of nuclear war, the desire to maintain military superiority, and the belief that nuclear weapons could be used to deter aggression. The race also led to the development of new technologies, such as intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, which made it possible to deliver nuclear weapons to any target on the globe. The nuclear arms race was a major factor in the Cold War, and it contributed to the global tensions and instability of that period. The race also had a significant impact on the environment, as nuclear testing released large amounts of radiation into the atmosphere. The nuclear arms race ended with the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991. However, the threat of nuclear war remains a major concern, and the world is still vulnerable to a nuclear attack. Here are some of the key events in the history of the nuclear arms race. 1945, the United States develops the first atomic bomb, and uses it to attack the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. 1949, the Soviet Union Union develops its own atomic bomb. 1952. The United States develops the hydrogen bomb, which is much more powerful than the atomic bomb. 1953. The Soviet Union develops its own hydrogen bomb. 1957. The Soviet Union launches Sputnik, the first artificial satellite which begins the space race. 1962. The Cuban Missile Crisis brings the world to the brink of nuclear war. 1963. The United States and the Soviet Union sign the Limited Test Ban Treaty, which prohibits nuclear testing in the atmosphere, underwater and in outer space. 1968. The Non-Proliferation Treaty is signed by the United States, the Soviet Union, and most of the world's nations. The treaty prohibits the spread of nuclear weapons to non-nuclear states. 1972. The United States and the Soviet Union sign the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty, which limits the development of anti-ballistic missiles. 1986. The Chernobyl nuclear disaster in the Soviet Union highlights the dangers of nuclear power. 1991. The Soviet Union collapses, ending the Cold War. 2002. The United States withdraws from the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty. 2003. The United States invades Iraq, sparking a new nuclear arms race in the Middle East. 2010. The United States and Russia sign the New START Treaty 
which reduces the number of nuclear warheads each country is allowed to possess. 2017. The United States withdraws from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. 2020. The United States and Russia begin talks on a new nuclear arms control treaty. The nuclear arms race is a complex and dangerous history. It is important to remember the lessons of the past, and to work together to prevent a nuclear war from ever happening. The AI arms race is already having a significant impact on geopolitics. Countries are investing heavily in AI research and development, and there is a growing sense of urgency to develop AI capabilities before other countries do. This competition is driving up the cost of defense, and it is also leading to a new era of secrecy and distrust between countries. Here are some of the potential consequences of the AI arms race. Increased military spending. Countries will need to invest heavily in AI research and development in order to stay ahead of the competition. This could lead to a significant increase in military spending. New types of weapons. AI could be used to develop new types of weapons that are not currently possible. This could lead to an arms race as countries try to develop the most advanced weapons. Increased secrecy. Countries will be reluctant to share information about their AI capabilities for fear of giving an advantage to their rivals. This could lead to a new era of distrust and suspicion between countries. Increased risk of conflict. The use of AI in warfare could make it more difficult to control escalation and could lead to more widespread conflict. It is important to note that the AI arms race is still in its early stages. It is possible that countries will be able to manage this competition in a way that minimizes the risk of conflict. However, it is also possible that the AI arms race could lead to a new era of instability and conflict. Only time will tell how this competition will play out. China and the United States are the two leading countries in artificial intelligence AI development. Both countries have made significant investments in AI research and development, and both have achieved impressive results. In terms of research, China has been catching up to the United States in recent years. In 2017, China published more AI papers than any other country and it now has the second largest number of AI researchers in the world. The Chinese government has also been investing heavily in AI, with plans to spend $1 trillion on AI research and development by 2030. In terms of applications, China is already ahead of the United States in some areas. For example, China is leading the world in the development of facial recognition technology. This technology is being used for a variety of purposes, including security, social control, and marketing. The United States state still has an edge over China in some areas, such as natural language processing and machine learning. However China is rapidly catching up in these areas as well. It is still too early to say which country will ultimately become the global leader in AI. However, it is clear that both countries are investing heavily in this technology, and that AI is likely to have a major impact on the world in the years to come. The AI arms race is a complex and challenging issue. There are no easy solutions, but it is important to start thinking about how to manage this competition in a way that minimizes the risk of conflict. Some potential solutions include developing international norms and regulations for the use of AI in warfare, and investing in research on AI safety and ethics. It is also important to remember that the AI arms race is still in its early stages. It is possible that countries will be able to manage this competition in a way that avoids conflict. However, it is also possible that the AI arms race could lead to a new era of instability and conflict. Only time will tell how this competition will play out. It is important to be aware of the potential consequences of the AI arms race and to work to mitigate these risks. We must all work together to ensure that AI is used for good and not for evil.